Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Minecraft Survival. And uh, I'm playing on the snapshot, as you can see in the upper left. And the reason for that is um, two things. One, uh, I got really annoyed. I was doing some branch mining to get some more iron to finish off my pyramid, and I was getting so annoyed at the um, there are little seams that you could see in the textures, and it looked like light was coming through. Um, so that's fixed in this snapshot and also in this snapshot, which uh, will be 1.5.1 and it'll come out next week. You can now combine enchanted books. So show you like that. Uh, you can all, you've always been able to do this in creative mode, but you haven't been able to do this in survival mode. So uh, yeah, I can take two protection three books, make it a protection four. So that's cool too. Let me put that away. So, um, oh. I, uh, I combined some of my other books and made some good ones. Sharpness 5, Protection 4s, Power 5, Protection 4, Efficiency 5, and my Unbreakings are here. So that's like my valuable books chest. Now, a um, couple of things we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to make a house for Fluffy because she has been outside in the rain for way, way, way too long. And then we're going to gear up and go out on an adventure to find some emeralds in the extreme hills biome. I found some in branch mining, but I didn't mine a single one because I wanted to find them in a natural cavern first, and then we can go back to the branch mine and plunder it. So uh, we're going to need some tools to go with us. Um, well, actually, what we're going to need is armor because, yeah, that is not cutting it at all. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, also, during my branch mining, I found a few more diamonds. So uh, <laughs> we are, um, let me combine those. We're getting there. Um, <laughs> It's not an unlimited supply yet, but uh, it's, uh, it, it's getting to be a lot of diamonds. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, and I don't know if you guys have seen this on the snap on the uh, new 1.5, but if you hold your button down on on this, come on, give it now. Ah, why wouldn't it? Huh. Before, when I would hold this down, I would get it to split evenly, but it doesn't seem to work with diamonds. That is really weird. Um, hmm, okay, whatever. Uh, there we go. Let's start with that. And then we'll make a pair of pants. There we go. And let's make a hat as well. And finally, we need boots. All right, full diamond. That will uh, keep us safe on our adventure. And uh, oh, you know what? My shovel's almost gone. Let's um, let's take care of that right now too. We got sticks and diamonds. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to make another one here. Eh, wrong, wrong, wrong. There we go. Okay, and put a diamond there, and we'll make a new shovel. And uh, what I want to do, and what can I dump out of my inventory here? Okay, there we go. Um, what I want to do is, uh, there, there are, uh, combine it with this one probably to uh, just, yeah. Because that's actually a really decent shovel, the efficiency four. Um, so let's put those back. And let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Let's, uh, now I know I, I've seen that, so this costs nine. And this way costs 22. So um, depending on which way you put it in, uh, and you see you still get an efficiency four, um, but if you put it in this way, it uses a lot less levels. I don't know why that is. I saw Etho doing it on his channel, and um, that's how I kind of came up with that idea. And that, that actually makes me uh, wonder about, um, you know, fixing a pick like this or even this one um, that I couldn't fix before but I may be able to fix now um, in that using that ordering with a new pickaxe uh, so yeah anyway uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and kill some of these guys I'll be right back in a second when I have 30 XP okay got the 30 XP and I'm just gonna go in and chant all of my armor cuz we haven't really done that before and why not so let's start with the chest plate here we go what do we got protection for thorns too that is awesome wow awesome 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 oh man this is gonna be a good adventure no one's gonna be able to touch me all right we can uh, 
dump out this gold chest plate. It's almost completely gone. Um, you know, I may just, while we're waiting for more guys to appear, uh, oh man, there's so much junk in my inventory, forget it. I was gonna say that I would combine it with uh, another chest plate, but uh, not right now. And my cactus has been growing, so I've been getting pieces of it. It, it pops itself off because there's no airspace next to it. So uh, that's kind of cool. And I was thinking we might use it to uh, give Fluffy a little cactus garden outside her house, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, okay, I'll be right back again when I have another 30 levels of XP and we'll go with uh, enchanting the rest of the stuff. Okay, another level 30 and uh, let's go with the leggings. The next most expensive item and uh, projectile protection for, eh, well, okay, not not terrible, not terrible. I, I can't complain, it's, a, it's at least a four. Um, yeah, there we go. Cool, cool, all right. And uh, I wonder if that'll protect me against the arrows from these skeletons, actually. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let's go enchant my helmet. Here we go. Let's get something good. What do we got? Blast protection for respiration three. That is actually quite good. I wanted a respiration one, which I think lets you breathe underwater. I'm pretty sure. So let's put that on. And I am going to smack some more skeletons with my mighty loaf of bread and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back for the final enchanting and uh, I broke my anvil because I combined a book or two books. So I uh, went back up to my tree fort, made a new one and uh, got some stuff for uh, Fluffy's house. So uh, I made this book right here, the fire protection four and feather falling four because I figured I had blast protection and respiration. I had protection four, I had projectile protection. So the only thing I really needed was fire protection and the feather falling because um, I don't know, it's nice to be able to fall and not take much damage. So uh, that's what I did. So let's go ahead and combine those and make a nice pair of diamond boots. There we go. And we are decked out, guys. Okay, uh, now, the other thing I wanted to show you, I don't know what I was doing wrong. I started playing around with it again and it actually does work, um, but uh, here we go. So yeah, you can do that and it'll, uh, so then if you wanted to make a chest plate, you can just do that or, you know, you can move that there and it makes it, it just makes things a little bit quicker. Um, especially if you want to make blocks of diamond or whatever material that you're working with. So let's get out of here. See you later guys. Um, let's go and take care of this. We'll go take care of Fluffy and, uh, then, oh man, it's dark out. <sighs> of course it is. Well, we should still be able to get done what we want to get done, so that's okay. So I made a little bit of a landscaping change. God, I can't see anything. Here we go. Um, to the treehouse, sort of. You guys will see in a second. Um, I just extended the grass, and uh, we can put sand back, whatever. I just wanted to... Um, extend the grass, well, wet down dirt so that the grass would grow, so that uh, Fluffy could have a little yard or something, because I'm gonna put her house right here, and I figured that it would be nice to have some grass around it. Uh, we can put some bushes, whatever, and then we can make the sand back around. It's kind of dead grass because of the desert biome change right there, but uh, I like the transition, look at that, Just, you know, it goes, anyway. Uh, um, Okay, so let's start with our house, and uh, what I want to do here is we're going to make it, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and we're going to take out, um, all right, here we go, let's go ahead, where's my shovel, let's go take that out, so we'll take that, okay, I forgot that um, <laughs> there's kind of a hole underneath here because of uh, creepers, so um, <laughs> let's put down some wood blanks, that's embarrassing. Um, <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, we've got this dug out, and uh, the reason I dug that out is because um, I want to put some glowstone down, and hopefully it'll do what I want it to do. So we'll put this along here, and uh, give her some light. 
and then we're going to take some jungle wood and uh, make it look a little rustic here. Here we go. And uh, yeah, okay, it's letting out some light. I may, uh, uh, I may work on that to get a little bit more light to come out. Um, so uh, what I want to do now is we want to give her a red bed like ours. So um. We'll go ahead and dye this. We'll get one red wool, and then uh, let's make some more dye here. That should be... Well, you know what? I'm going to want to use this a little bit later. Let's get one more, um, and then we'll dye all six pieces. There we go. Well, five pieces. Um, good enough. All right. And we'll go ahead and put this down in the middle. Nice little red bed like ours. Let's see, one and two. And, hmm, yeah. Well, I made this a little bit. Yeah, no, that, that is how I want it. This is how I want it. Um, we'll put another piece of glowstone here and another piece of jungle wood here. Okay. And, yep, yeah, that's starting to look okay. Um, I was going to put bushes around this or cacti or something, but it's so close to my staircase. I might have to, um, hmm, I'm going to shift it over one. I'll be right back guys. Okay. That's better. And, uh, we may have to do some, uh, land reclaiming a little bit here just to get this stuff away from here. Or, you know, we may get rid of it all together and put it in a different spot because it sort of blocks Fluffy's view and I'm not okay with that, but okay. So what I want to do here is um, go ahead and um, put up some, do we want to make it? No, this, this is tall enough for her um, because it's a pet house. It doesn't have to be tall enough for us to get into. And uh, I was thinking of either using um, oak wood stairs or jungle wood stairs or stone stairs. Let's start with the jungle wood stairs and see how it looks because um, you know, this is a jungle tree that this is made from. So let's see how that looks. And also because I don't have that much oak left. So, um, and then on top, we'll do the jungle wood planks, just straight through. And I don't like that at all. Uh, um, let's, uh, let's, see what it would look like and we'll just look at the front that's all we really need to look at we can mirror it the rest of the way through but uh let's go with i wonder if co cobblestone will look because that might be kind of cool although i need to go grab cobblestone block um here we go hmm that's actually not bad yeah Hmm. And you know, we can just, uh, we can put the stone slab just to get an idea of what it would look like. There. So, hmm. Not bad either. Not bad either. Hmm. I like it better than the jungle wood one. Um, hmm. Guys, I finally did it. I, uh, I went and got nether bricks and so I did all kinds of stuff. And uh, here's what I settled on, finally. Um, I decided to make Fluffy her own sandstone uh, desert temple. So, uh, a complete with orange wool and the uh, chiseled sandstone with the creeper face on it, because I figured that's appropriate. And uh, the glowstone should light all around it uh, based on the way I think glowstone works. So it should be cool at night. And uh, I don't know, I just thought that was kind of cool. I put the fence gate here to keep her in and to keep other mobs out. Uh, although if I put her sitting, she won't really go anywhere, but I don't know, it's appropriate to have that there. Uh, I had some cacti sitting here that looked really cool on either side, but they won't stay when there's a fence gate. So anything around it, it won't go. So I could put it here, but I only go one high. I had two high cacti. I don't know. We'll see what we do, what we can do with it. But let's go ahead and put Fluffy in her home. Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? Look at it. Look at it. Isn't it? Isn't it great? You love it, don't you? You love it. You love it. All right, come on. Let's put you in. 
Come on, you got your own little desert temple here. No, 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 no. You do not go past. Come on, get in there. Get in there. There you go. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's nice inside. It's cozy. It's warm, and it keeps you safe from the rain. Yes, I'm talking to you. Seriously. Go on in. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, yep. Good kitty, good kitty, good kitty. All right. Let's go ahead and close your fence. And oh, that looks great. Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? Yes, 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 yes. I'm treating you appropriately. <laughs> you have your own uh, desert temple house. It's pretty cool. I like it. Anyway, okay. So now the uh, next part of the episode, we're going to head out on an adventure with you two. I'll be right back, guys. Um, and we're going to go and hmm, I think it's going to rain, so it's perfect timing. Or is the sun setting? Sun setting, never mind, it's going to be nighttime. Well, that's going to make it interesting. Um, <laughs> let's get ready to go on an adventure. Let me set my inventory up. Okay, I think I've got everything that I need. And let's get Okuran and Naruko too. Let's go, puppy dogs. Let's go find us some emeralds. They can teleport through the door, that's fine. And I almost forgot something on a Fluffy's house here. We did not put a sign. So let's go ahead and put that on now. Fluffy. Uh, creepers beware. There we go. Awesome. All right. So uh, there they are. Don't mess with uh, Fluffy, please, guys. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's go on an adventure to the extreme hills biome. And you know what? I'm going to drink this. Get a little speed, too. And oh, geez. Already? Are you kidding me? Don't screw up the beach, please. That knockback is actually pretty useful for the creeper there. Oh, good. Get some gunpowder. And uh, I think the extreme hills biome is off this way. So let's get a move on and let's see how fast we can go. Whoa, man. This is a fast potion. Woo. 